Hello everyone, uh, today I'll show you how to create your own 3D skin for Track Me Night 2020. A little warning, please do not abuse this. I've had echoes that Nadeo is already not happy about 3D skins existing, so it's also our responsibility to not abuse this. Side note, uh, Junub and maybe Shadow Calyx uh, is working on a Track Me Night 2 to Track Me Night 2020 converter. Uh, but nothing is out at the time I'm recording this. Uh, I'll link the GitHub link in the description if you want to take a look at it. Also, there is like one thing that we still haven't figured out by now, and it is how to create crash meshes. Before we start, you will need Blender with the Blender Mania add-on. It has knives in it. Nado Importer. And the JPEG Spy project, which is linked in the description. First of all, if you want to port an existing skin, you have to know if the skin is in .pack.gpx or in .solid.gpx. .pack.gpx cannot be extracted, while .solid.gpx can be converted and opened directly in Blender with nice uh, 0.2. .pack.gpx will require you to use Ninja Reaper to get the meshes and do the cleanup. So you can follow my tutorial on how to transfer a track into Blender First, let's create the four main textures. We have skin dmg underscore skin, which is linked to skin underscore d dot dts. We have details dmg normal underscore wheels, which is linked to wheels underscore b dot dts. Then we have details dmg normal underscore details, which is linked to details underscore b dot dts. And then we have glass dmg crack underscore glass, which is linked to glass underscore t dds all of these files are in the same folder as the fbx file you can also create as many textures as you want as long as you follow the prefix so for example skin dmg underscore xxx or details dmg normal underscore xxx side note but skin dmg underscore skin does not support normal textures so i would advise you to use the details dmg normal and create your own if you don't have any. Those are the same format as the Vanilla TM2020 skin, so you can use underscore R for roughness and underscore N for normals as well. Go through every mesh and assign correct material, then feel free to delete the fake shad plane, it will not be used. Once everything is assigned, copy everything over on the base template. Take one part, go into Edit with Tab, select everything with A, go back into Object Mode with Tab, Ctrl plus click on LOD1, Ctrl J to join, then select LOD1, click into the void to deselect, and you can do it for every part. Assign the correct body part with the vertex group. Once it's done, you need to move the bones to the correct positions. Find the bone related to the group and place it at the origin of the mesh. It's usually close to the wheel itself. Bone should have the same rotation as the mesh itself. As you can see with the Trackmina Turbo Stadium skin. Generally, wheel, reactor and guard are at the same position. Once you binded everything, you can just leave all our bones as is. You can also remove them if you want to by going into the armature and removing set bone. You can also add a missing bone, but don't forget to add the correct vertex group as well. If you want to add flames, you need to use the two underscore exhaust bones, or one if you only want one flame, of course. Make sure your model fits within the bounding box cube, otherwise it won't be shown to other players. If you are making a completely new skin, 
make sure your textures are within the UV limits because textures do not repeat. Regarding LODs, the general number is 3, but you can go up to 5 for more complex skins. So the Trackmania Turbo Stadium 1 for example. To add one LOD, just duplicate the current one, unfold the duplicate hips, select the underscore LOD1, press Alt plus P, and select Clear and Keep Transformation. Rename it to the next LOD, so for us, underscore LOD2. In the Modifiers tab, reselect the correct skeleton. Go into the Materials tab and select the correct materials, not 0.001. Otherwise, it won't work. Be careful though, the skeleton do not work anymore at 4 and above. So make sure you bind everything to body for that. Reduce the number of vertices of your model until you feel like it's a fine amount. The game will tell you if it's enough or not, but we'll see that later. If you want to add the trigram and or the player's position, just know that they are a bit special. I've linked a Blender project with two different meshes in it, uh, if you want to copy paste them into your current project. Place them wherever you want, but do not modify their UVs. The texture name is skin dmg decal underscore skin, which you can link to skin underscore d dot dds. Now that we are done with the skin, press A to select everything and go to file, export, fbx. Under armature, and select Add Leaf Bones. Export it to Documents, Trackmania, Work, Skins, Models, Your Skin Name, Your Skin Name.fbx. Copy over the Your Skin Name.mesh.params.xml. Place all of your textures inside this folder. Open PowerShell in Trackmania Installation folder with Nado Importer installed, and then type the command that will appear on screen. Now, on to the last part, gbxpy. Next to your fbx file, place the skinname.meshparams.xml and modify it with the materials that you have. Just take the template and duplicate the lines that correspond to your materials. Open a PowerShell window in the gbxpy folder and type the command on screen. You can also add the dash dash fake shad parameter to add a custom fake shadow and you'll need to provide a fakeshad.dds image in your skin file. It will create a mainbody.mesh.gbx file right next to your skin name.mesh.gbx. Now create a zip file with all your textures and drag the created mainbody.mesh.gbx. Place that zip into the car spot folder, which is under documents, trackmania, skins, models, car sport. Open up trackmania, go to plugins, Classic menu, editors, paint a car. Find your skin file. Look up at the top left, you should only see build blah blah blah. If it says something about too many something, then one of your LOD has too many vertices. To see the complete message, go to system, scene explorer, viewport overlays, index 4, frame vehicle profile, Menu Frame Instance, Frame Content. Then you need to uncheck Frame Vehicles. Now you can modify your skin mesh accordingly and then export again. To refresh your skin in the garage, press M, the car should stop spinning, and then press Ctrl R. If your skin doesn't respect the vertices limits, other players won't be able to see your skin online. Now, to see your skin in-game, you have to upload it to your club. Check if the bones rotations are good by going into Cam 7 and anchoring the camera to the car. And that's it! Now you know how to create custom 3D skins for Trackmania 2020. Don't hesitate to ask questions in the comments section. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Bye!